Diversity 2. Today's project is um, desoldering components on, circuit, on circuit boards to fix other equipment, electronics equipment that you may have. These um, DVD disc drives were taken out of old computers, salvaged. I have about five of them. And sometimes um, your drives wear out. It's good to have someone on hand to just simply replace them and, and keep rolling. Keep rolling, especially when you're doing large projects or recording or doing um, um, videos and DVDs. To be hindered would be a problem, so to keep things running smoothly, I salvage a lot of parts from um, other components that are thrown away or they're in the trash, and um, I take the time to gather the parts. Also on circuit boards, I've taken these solder, a lot of the um, capacitors, bridge rectifiers, resistors, and any component that I could reuse, I would um, take my um, soldering gun or my um, heat my heat gun and um, turn it over and uh, just simply desolder them and, and store them for um, future use. Okay, this is my scalpage supply electrical components um, thrown out whatever that I use to scalpage to fix other components with have a um, collection in boxes and storage bins that when I'm ready I can use them some of them have already been desoldered and put aside so I can um, ready to use this project here this was uh, a 400 watt power converter one of the capacitors capacitors blue here so I took my took my soldering gun here pretty much turned it over put the plastic back and I just desoldered it right up in here if I can get it. I desoldered these two points right here. Remove the capacitor. This is my storage. Let's see my capacitors. I went through here. I pulled them out. And I found one that was um, pretty close to what was um, burnt out and I just pretty much inserted it to the uh, mother to the uh, circuit board and resoldered um, the component from my solder gun and turned it on and uh, it works fine it came back on here's some of the um, components that I desoldered so I can reuse them just thrown out in the, in the trash Got them off the circuit boards. Just disassemble and take them out and, and see what you can use. Okay, just assembling some equipment here. Has a lot of screws, need a lot of patience. If you have a good small hand drill, you can drill them out. Tiny screws. I have my folder here that I um, design when I'm desoldering components to be able to identify them. I I um, <coughs> got me a printout and I taped all the components to this printout that match what I was looking for, to, so I can identify each component. That there, there's just so many of them, and that they're all not the same. So I would take some cardboard or paper or something and basically um, tape these components uh, to some paper and I would name them or give them a name or what they mean or where they go or how they function. I did this with switches, capacitors, sensors and mic, brothers, conductors, 
fuses, circuit boards. But at the moment, this is what I'm looking for. These um, regulators. I have bridge regulators, um, bridge rectifiers. So I have a whole row. Down here, I'm going to have to take my magnifying glass. Make sure I don't dust anything up here. Let me see. Let me lift this up. So I need to disassemble this section here to get to them. Looks like I might have to desolder. I have some more screws too. I'm about to desolder this whole section here. Okay, we got them out. They don't have very long legs on them. We'll put some extensions on there. We'll do it later. We have our two large capacitors. Uh, wow. You don't lift the fingers. Kind of pop around. Let's move this stuff out the way and reassemble my power converter here. Power converter that was had a blown capacitor has since been replaced. This one right here can be replaced. See why we soldered it. It's, it's right there. Slide it back into a slot. in place. Just need to slide forward. Okay. Maneuver this. Okay. Now let's get on this back. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's go ahead and finish up. Put these screws in.
Push my converter here. And get a set here. Plug him up. Uh, make sure I got the negative and the positive right. It's my battery under here. The positive over there. My negative cable right there. The motor's on. Get the green light. Let's see. Green light, have power. I'm gonna take up take this drill, plug it in, and we got power just by replacing a simple. Um, small capacitor, one of the very small ones, like this one, into a blown capacitor in the converter. And it works. Diversity 2. Desoldering parts, um, use them to repair other um, components in, my, in circuitry. Um, it can be done. So there you have it. Diversity 2. Um, thanks for watching.